Parker Vitarelli, the Nighthawks, and uh, and Dider coming into camp. They're healthy. You got activated. You're back, you're back in the roster. Um, how do you feel right now? Uh, feeling better for sure than last year, and, and it's obviously still working towards being 100% healthy, but uh, some steps in the right direction, and definitely happy and excited to feel better and be at this point uh, to start the season. You had fitness testing, and then you had a double session here on, uh, on Saturday. Um, how did it feel to kind of get back to work with your teammates? Uh, it's always nice. I mean, it's nice to come in and do the fitness testing. Never really a fun part, but exciting to challenge each other and push. And then uh, today with the two practices, it's hard, but it's nice to get out there with the guys and, I mean, start working towards the goal of hopefully winning the Champions Cup at the end of the season. It's your eighth season. I, I, when I looked that up, I was, <laughs> I was shocked that it's already been, uh, yeah. you know, seven years and now you're going into your eighth. Do you approach each season differently or do you have the same approach each year? Uh, well, first off, yeah, it is a little scary to think that it's been that long. Time goes by fast, and now I'm one of the older guys. Uh, you know what, as you get older, I guess you approach a little differently, knowing that your job isn't always maybe as secure as it once was, but you just continue to work hard and you set goals for yourself, and, and hopefully they kind of work themselves out as the season gets going. You have a pension for not only scoring highlight reel goals, but one of uh, your teammates called you one of the best off-ball guys in the National Lacrosse League. How does one become a really good off-ball player your whole career? Uh, hard to say, I guess. I mean, I guess it's just something I was very fortunate enough to be blessed with in that regard, a little bit maybe smarter off-ball, and it just kind of naturally progressed. But it's a role I enjoy playing and happy to do for my teammates. And, I mean, hopefully I can be successful and do it again this season. Back after the three-peat. Uh, you guys came to play us the year after the last two years. You know, it's been a little bit of a hiccup. Uh, how much is it uh, driving to get back to the postseason? Yeah, we had some really good years. I mean, it's tough. Every year your goal is to win, and if you don't win and fulfill that goal, it's, it's obviously disappointing, so you use it as a driving force. And, I mean, for us to watch another team raise the cup and know that we obviously haven't been where we wanted to be, it's something that we use as motivation to work harder and to be better and hopefully get back on top.